Let's talk turkey. This is in Texas style smoked turkey breast. Smoked turkey breast is very quietly one of the most popular meat served in Central Texas barbecue joints. Now I'm Paul Daddy from Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue and we're gonna learn how to create one of the most underrated meats in barbecue, the smoked turkey breast. Smoked turkey breast seems to be getting more popular but it still doesn't command the respect that it deserves. That being said today, I'm doing my part to shine the light right where it belongs. Now it's been said many times that the hardest part of smoking a turkey breast at home is just being able to find that turkey breast so you can cook it. They may not be readily available everywhere but I did find some at my local HEB grocery store here in Texas. They had honeysuckle white boneless turkey breast, but it wasn't even listed on their app. I had to go in the store to find it. And it's not because they were in short supply. They had plenty of them. They were selling for $4.97 a pound at the time that I made this video. Now the honeysuckle white turkey breast, it comes brined. So it needs to be rinsed off by soaking it in cold water. Because this one was brined, I will not be adding any additional salt. Now start by drying it off with paper towels. Smoking Texas style, we need to remove all the skin. And this can be a combination of just simply pulling it off or trimming where necessary with a knife. Now trim off any excess fat or any irregular tags. Dry it again with paper towels if needed. This turkey load that I have is right at five pounds. I like to turn it where what was the skin side is down and then we're gonna put some olive oil on that back side to use as a binder. And then just sprinkle on some garlic powder or you can use granulated garlic if you got it and follow that up with some coarse black pepper. And number 16 grind is recommended here. Last, we'll use smoked paprika to give it just a little bit of that good barbecue color. Now guys, I'll give you a little warning here. I kind of like to get heavy handed with my seasoning because I like a lot of seasoning. So I'll caution you to go a little bit lighter than I did unless you consider yourself a spice monster like me. Now we need to flip it over and do that skin side, which now we're going to call the presentation side. Add the olive oil, the garlic powder, the black pepper, and the paprika. Okay, now looking at the turkey breast, you can see it's got a thick side and a thin side. They all do. And this doesn't promote even cooking. So what are we going to do? All you got to do is take that thin edge and just tuck it under. And this will make it cook a lot more evenly. Now it's a lot more uniform and it's rounded in appearance. Now I'm going to be cooking on my Yoder YS1500 pellet smoker. And this thing's warming up to 275 degrees. So between 250 and 275 Fahrenheit, that's a good temperature to cook the turkey breast. Now, if you really want to keep it Texas style, use oak pellets. So we're going to put this turkey breast on the yoder. I'll go right there on the middle, right here on the top rack. And it's going presentation side up. And also today I'm using my Thermal Works dot to probe the breast so we can keep up with that internal temperature. Since this is a pellet smoker, I'm gonna give it a little smoking assist by using the smoking tube to give it a little additional smoke flavor in this cook. All right, I'm putting this breast right there in the middle of the smoker, and then we're gonna close up the smoker and wait for the breast to reach 145 degrees internal. Now, if your smoker cooks evenly from end to end, then just leave it alone for the whole time it takes to get to 145. But if your smoker's a little bit more unbalanced temp-wise, then we'll rotate it, say after the first hour, just turn it 180 degrees so it'll promote more even cooking. Now, somewhere about 15 minutes before you guesstimate you're going to hit that 145 degrees internal, you can take some unsalted butter and you can melt it. I'm using my smoker to get this done. And we'll be using this melted butter when we wrap. Now at 145 degrees, you want to lay out a sheet of foil and place that turkey breast right there in the middle. Now look how absolutely spectacular this thing looks. And yes, it definitely looks like we're killing it here. Now pour some of that melted butter over the presentation side and then you turn that breast over and you butter up the back side. So I'm wrapping this in heavy duty 18 inch wide foil. Most people like to use two sheets of foil here and I do too. You just don't want to take a chance of any of that butter getting away. So double wrap. Now the wrap breast goes back on the smoker, presentation side down now, and we're still at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And we need to put that probe back in there. That's the important part. The most crucial part of the whole cook is to be able to catch that breast temperature when it hits 160 degrees Fahrenheit 
and then we want to take it off the smoker immediately. So once it's out, it's resting, the carryover temp is probably going to take it all the way up to 165. And then you'll have the most perfectly cooked turkey breast you've ever had. 15 minutes rest period is the minimum rest period. This one's rested a whole lot longer, but this thing's still very, very hot. Now you can see that it looks magnificent. We want to be sure and save all that butter and the turkey juice to go over the sliced turkey. So the butter goes wherever that turkey goes. Let's slice it up. You can go as thick or thin as you wish, and you can probably see the heat coming off as I'm making these slices. And now the good part, I get to taste it. And yes, this thing is juicy, smoky, and delicious. Now, it will not remind you of Thanksgiving turkey, unless you're already cooking them this way. You'll never be disappointed in Texas-style smoked turkey. And this can absolutely change the way that you even think about turkey. You definitely owe it to yourself to give this a try. Now, all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.